up, YouTube? My name's Jack Armstrong. They call me Jack Daddy. It is fantastic to see you today. We love Jesus, we love our family, and we love the outdoors, and we like to build things. So come along as we build things, come along as we try them out, come along and I'll show you how you can build them too. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, today we're here at the boat ramp, we're fixing to launch the Carolina skiff with the T-top. And uh, this is a homemade T-top that I built myself. And uh, follow along in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first step we're gonna do is take some measurements around our center console and uh, just kind of see where we want it to be as far as the base of the width. So what I've got is 22 inches apart. That's gonna be at the base. And then I try to match my angles coming up with the console. And then we're gonna go up 83 inches high is gonna be the very top. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it out on the concrete floor with some chalk. And then I'm gonna try to get one side of this thing bent and laid out how I want it uh, with the aluminum. And then uh, when I do that, I'm gonna just match the other side to it. And then we'll worry about going across the front and that and the top and the width of that kind of stuff. Right now, I guess we're working on the length. All right, I've got it drawn out on the concrete floor with some chalk. And basically I wanna bend me that aluminum conduit to fit like that. Uh, this one right here, is at 30 inches to the center. That's gonna give me a good standoff height for my center console on each side. And then that up there is gonna, that's gonna be the handle right here. It's just gonna be a handle. And then those are just gonna be braces uh, that make it look cool. And that one's gonna have a little bit of a radius in it. And that one's gonna have a little bit of a radius going to the front of the support. So this is gonna be the front. This is gonna be the back. All right, so you can see I got it bent uh, and it fits right around the edge. So our next step will be to cut the bottoms off and the top off right there. And then we'll start laying in pieces in between. Got it bent, got it tacked. I want to set it on the boat by the ham just to make sure it's what I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and bend the other side. And then after that, we'll work on the top, get the top bent, and then we'll work on putting them together. And there they are, stacked up on each other. Both tacked, everything looks just right. Uh, up there, like right in there. The bottom one I'm gonna have to bend, I mean the top one I'm gonna have to bend just a little bit more to get my angle out a little bit further. All right, now we're bending the top. Uh, that'll actually be the top of the T-top. We got some starboard we're gonna put on this. We're gonna have two 45s on each side that bend to the front. And uh, so 45 here, 45 there is gonna give me my 90 and it's gonna make the front look a little more streamlined. All right, day two, working on this, working on the top. And uh, what we're doing is we're cutting our cross pieces now and we're putting some fish mouths in them. So uh, this will allow them to fit up tight with our crossbars. So uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. Probably the best way is to use a tubing notcher, obviously, but I don't have that. The second best way is to use one of these. And uh, it works really good. You just gotta kinda go slow and you gotta make sure your measurements are spot on. Another way is to use a piece of cardstock and bend it around your pipe to get that diameter and then cut it out with paper and then you've got a template. So you can just slide that on and off, mark it out, you can grind away at those marks or you can use a bandsaw and get close to them and then grind and clean it up or you can use a plasma cutter. All right, so as you see, we got our back piece on. We got one inch and the reason we put a one inch tube there is because we're gonna do like a little double thing uh, that holds all our rocket launchers there. Uh, but these are our cross members where our T-top will mount to our base. And you'll see how the fish mouth makes a good, nice, tight connection. And then uh, I'll show you how it goes on here. So you just kind of slide it in one way or another. There you go. And then it's in there. So then you can weld that up, and that's going to make it that much more strong. See on both sides. All right, so we got the top tacked up. Next thing is going to be to put some fish mouths in the top of our post frames and uh, and then we will turn those upside down and we'll get us a nice square and a level and we will get this mounted on that.
All right, so we've got everything welded up, and now what we're fixing to do is put them up there, and I'm gonna try to get them as square as possible. I'm just gonna tack them to start with, and then uh, I'm gonna put a cross brace in there. I've already got it measured out. It's gonna be 33 inches up from the bottom. So we just put it up there just to kind of get an idea of how it looks. And this thing is awesome. So what we're gonna do now is take the T-top back off, weld up all my spots that were tacked up, and I'm gonna finish putting my uh, final bracing and the handles and the rod holders. Alright, so I got it stood back up. I got all these just tacked. But it's so windy, I'm gonna take it inside my shop and weld them up in a minute. I've got uh, the rod holders tacked on on both sides, and then I got the bases uh, tacked on. So that's just a couple pieces of quarter inch plate that I cut out with the plasma cutter, made them round, and then we'll drill some holes through those and make some countersink uh, holes so that some you know screws will fit down level with those. Uh, now what we're fixing to do is make my standoffs. So I put it in the boat, make sure it was fit how it was supposed to, it was perfect, and I measured my standoffs. So uh, come over here, I'll show you how I'm gonna make my standoffs. So basically I got a little piece of aluminum. This is eighth inch plate, and uh, I've got these with a fish mouth in them. And I'm gonna weld these to these and then I'm gonna come and put them where I've got marked out for my standoff, just like that. So those will go right there, just like that. There'll be one on that side, two in the front, and that should sturdy this thing up. The next thing I'm gonna do is make some little tabs, and this is what I'm gonna mount my starboard to. So I'm gonna cut, uh, I got a template, I'm gonna put this on a bunch of pieces of 1 8 inch uh, aluminum plate, and then I'm gonna cut it out with my plasma cutter. And there's the stack of tabs. All right, so we're taking those tabs that we cut out and we're welding them onto the top of the T-top. Space them all out and then we'll drill some holes in there all around and that's what our starboard will mount to. We got everything uh, welded up how it's gonna be. Uh, that part is done, got our tabs, got our holes drilled. And now what we're gonna do is take a little stainless wire brush, get all the soot off our welds. And then we're gonna take a little sander we're gonna get it nice and smooth and uniform all over. All right, so we got our quarter inch starboard laid against it and uh, you can see it's much too big right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this bottom side first and like cut it. That way it'll sit down level and then we'll trace like around here, you know, across the side right there. We'll trace that and then once we get that out, we'll stand this thing back up and put some clamps on it so to hold the starboard right where it's gonna be and then we're gonna drill all those holes through the bottom going up. And that way, all the holes will be right where they're supposed to be and then we'll take a little bit bigger of a drill bit and drill out all the holes in the starboard just a little bit wider and then I'll show you how we're gonna fix the expansion problem that some people have with starboard.
All right, got the starboard up there, got it cut, uh, sanded off the corners a little bit, the edges, and then I've got some clamps holding it in place. So what we'll do is we'll come to all our tabs, our mountain locations, and drill straight up through there. So we got the top laying here uh, with our holes in it, and what we're gonna do now is, uh, those holes are one quarter inch. So our bolts for the top are one quarter inch bolts, stainless bolts with some finished uh, finish washers on top and then lock nuts on the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of this tube, which is a one quarter ID, three eighths OD, and uh, we're gonna encase those screw or those bolts with this tube. And that way, that's, this tube has got just enough give and flex, so with that starboard, heats up and expands, cools off, contracts, whatever. Whatever it does, if it moves just a little bit, this right here will give it enough room to move, but it won't give it enough, uh, it won't be like so much room that it'll just constantly be shaking and moving all the time. So this will hold it still while allowing it enough room to move. So we're gonna drill out all those quarter inch holes to 3 8 inch uh, OD, which is what this tube is. And then uh, we will cut these in just quarter inch sections. So, uh, you know, it'll fit down in this hole and then we'll put the bolts through this and the hole and then we'll bolt them onto the top. One last step we're gonna do before we put that top on is tonight we're gonna put a layer of like Lexel all the way around this thing and uh, not thick. I mean, it's gonna be just real thin. It's not gonna be for waterproof. It's gonna be, uh, just in case, you know, because this thing's not going to be bolted down everywhere in the middle. It's going to be bolted on the perimeter and just two in the middle. So that Lexel, when it's got any kind of vibration, instead of getting a knock in or tapping, it's going to dampen that noise. So that's why we're going to put just a little bit. You could use caulk, you could use gasket maker, you could use whatever. So um, the main thing is you just want something there that will be some type of a barrier for your sound. All right, so we're about to put the top on, get it in place, silicone is set and uh, it's sitting on top of it really nicely. So what we've got is uh, some uh, quarter inch screws with a pan head on it. And then we got a finish washer and that'll be on top. There is our little clear tube that we cut. That's gonna fit down inside our hole on the starboard. And then we have a nylon washer to go between the aluminum and the stainless. And hopefully that'll just give us a little bit more corrosion resistance and and then we have the stainless lock nut. So this is all stainless except our nylon washer and our clear piece. All right, so we got the T-top up on the boat and what we're doing is we're marked out all our locations for our holes, the floor and the uh, on the console. And we're fixing to drill those out. We got backing plates for the ones on the console. We're using these uh, number 14s to go down into the deck. We're gonna put some 3M on there before we put it on there in the holes, all under it, whatever. And then we're gonna set these down, put these in there. Uh, basically what you want to know if you're going to do this is when you mark your holes for the floor Make sure you run a little bit in reverse for your drill that way you're not just eating right away at the top top layer your gel coat fiberglass whatever it is so uh, You don't want to spider crack that and I'm taking one of these and I'm running it down in every hole before I put this down That way I've got some threads already initiated in my hole All right, so the last thing I had to do was uh, build me some standoffs for the back. All I did was build me a little saddle here and uh, you know just cut a little bit bigger piece of pipe in half, welded me some flanges on it so that I could tighten that down because uh, obviously you don't want to be welding them in here on the boat and there's no way to build this and then set the whole thing down. So uh, this is my standoff for the back. I got one on each side that goes down to uh, right under there and that black soot's just from the MIG welding so uh, same on that side it comes down and uh, I did that last too because I wasn't sure if I was gonna need it so um, you know the the t-top back here was a little shaky before um, before I put those on there so when I put those on there this thing is solid and uh, I mean you shake it the whole boat shakes.